The protein I will be talking about in this video is phenylalanine hydroxylase. The enzyme catalyzes the reaction that converts phenylalanine to tyrosine using oxygen and a cofactor called tetrahydrobiopterin, or BH4 for short. This reaction takes place mainly in liver cells in the cytosol. There is evidence that this reaction can take place in the kidneys as well. Let's take a look at the enzyme structure in JMOL. As you can see, this protein normally exists in a tetramer. It can interconvert between its dimer and tetramer forms, but the tetramer form is more catalytically active. Each monomer has three domains, the catalytic domain, regulatory domain, and tetramerization domain. The tetramerization domain is clearly visible in the 3D structure, seen in the middle as a large alpha helical region. Looking at the monomeric form of the protein, you can see the tetramerization domain clearly once again, and the catalytic domain can be found by looking for the iron atom, shown in orange. This is a non-heme iron group, held in place by adjacent residues in the active site. To get a clearer view of where the regulatory domain is, let's take a look at this diagram. Here you can clearly see the different regions of the monomeric form of the enzyme. The tetramerization domain, shown in green, helps the monomer join together with the other monomeric units of the protein. The end of its alpha helix contains the C-terminus of the protein. The catalytic domain, shown in yellow, is the region of the enzyme where the reaction takes place. The regulatory domain, shown in blue, contains the N-terminus of the protein and is the site of allosteric regulation of the enzyme, which we will talk about more later in this video. Let's take a closer look at the active site of the enzyme. The iron atom, shown in orange, is the main point of the active site. The molecule shown in green is the BH4 molecule, and the molecules in red are important residues in the active site. Taking a closer look at what those residues are, we can see that the iron atom interacts directly with glutamate-330, histidine-290, and histidine-285, with the other residues shown responsible for interacting with the substrates of the reaction, namely phenylalanine and BH4. The blue dots in this diagram are water molecules complex to the iron atom, which can happen when BH4 and phenylalanine aren't in the active site. Here we can see a detailed mechanism for the reaction taking place. The first step involves the formation of an oxygen bridge between the enzymes iron atom and BH4 using O2. The OO bond is then heterolytically cleaved to form a ferroxo oxo intermediate. This intermediate is then attacked by phenylalanine, which then breaks off to form tyrosine and regenerate the enzyme. The enzyme is regulated in three different ways, through allosteric regulation by both BH4 and phenylalanine, and by phosphorylation. BH4 can bind at the orange region shown here on the regulatory domain, which causes a conformational change to downregulate catalytic activity of the enzyme. Phenylalanine can bind at one of the purple regions shown here, which increases catalytic activity through a conformational change and promotes removal of BH4 at its allosteric site to increase activity as well. This feedback system works well to promote removal of excess levels of phenylalanine present. The enzyme can also be phosphorylated at serine 16, which causes a conformational change to promote binding of phenylalanine to the allosteric site, which boosts catalytic activity of the enzyme. This enzyme is clinically relevant as well, as a mutation in this enzyme causes a disease called phenylketonuria, or PKU for short. The disease is a rare genetic disorder with about 20,000 new cases diagnosed per year. The mutation causes phenylalanine hydroxylase to be non-functional, meaning that phenylalanine cannot be converted into tyrosine, and so phenylalanine builds up and causes problems in the body. The disease can also be caused by a mutation in dihydrobiopterin reductase, which recycles the cofactor back to BH4. Some symptoms of the untreated disease are mental retardation, caused by phenylalanine blocking neurodevelopment, and a musty odor in the breath and urine, caused by increased levels of phenylpyruvate, a product of a transaminase reaction involving glutamate, shown here. This musty odor and subsequent analysis of the urine to find high levels of phenylpyruvate was how the disease was first discovered and how it became known as phenylketonuria. The disease can be detected by a blood test after birth, as shown in this picture. Treatment of the disease involves a strictly controlled diet with extremely low levels of phenylalanine to avoid excess buildup of phenylalanine in the body. 
For more information on phenylalanine hydroxylase, check out these references. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.